Swear to jobs, if I see one more piece of iPhone 13 clickbait that is not actually about the iPhone 13, I will- Sponsored by CuriosityStream with Nebula. Last week it was all, you keep using the word confirmed. I don't think it means what you think it means. I complained about it, or worse, calling it confirmed based on two fake leaks or two reblogs of the same fake leak. Marquez complained about it. Nothing about the iPhone 13 is confirmed. The world cheered and make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell so we can keep cheering about it together. And anyone and everyone misusing and abusing the term, just think real, real hard about why and maybe consider cutting it the hell out. But something else is going on that I've been noticing a lot lately. Titles and headlines that say iPhone 13, but really have nothing, nothing at all to do with the iPhone 13 or iPhone 12S or whatever it is Apple calls the next one. Now, I'm not naming and shaming anybody here. I'm not calling anybody out because I actually deeply love and respect a lot of the publications that I'm talking about here. And I understand that you know they're working for higher ups who are putting an unbelievable amount of post 2020 pressure on them to perform in any way imaginable and possible, even if it is, in my opinion, a lot of short-term gain at the expense of long-term industry health. But I do wanna explain why I think ultimately it is bad for everybody. Now I love, all caps love, an engaging, captivating, compelling, intriguing title as much as the next instant gratification to you and human. They are evolutionarily irresistible. And I'm super, super interested in the iPhone 13 specifically, the latest rumors, the latest reports, the latest leaks, all of it. As you can imagine, it's very literally my job. And so I will click on an iPhone 13 headline faster than Superman can super suit up. And if you more than deliver on that click, if you over deliver on it, if you serve me more of everything than I ever asked for, just real crisp, real clear, real credible, new reports, new insights, new analysis, I will thank you and I will absolutely, positively, gladly, gratefully click again. Basically, at that point, you got me. But if you burn me, if I click and I get two minutes of intro followed by two minutes of disassembly, followed by 10 more minutes of filler and fluff, if that click is a trick, attention jack, swerve back attack, I, I won't even know about it because I will have never made it that far. I'll have not today satan out of that tab so fast faster than speed force fast. And I'll feel burned by it for a good long while, which means I probably won't click again for a good long while, not anytime soon. Me, one of the biggest fans of this topic, these blogs, these channels in the world. And that's what makes actual clickbait so short-sighted, so bad for everybody, because it perpetuates the myth that any type of captivating, compelling, intriguing title is by definition clickbait which is totally not true. You can, in fact, have the most amazing, evocative, emotional titles imaginable. You just can't bait and switch them. You can't under-deliver. You can't extract value from the audience or steal our attention. You have to actually provide value. You have to reward our attention. Don't make us wanna close the tab and never click again. Make us wanna click again and again, because ultimately, Algorithms are really just the audience. If the audience is clicking on iPhone 13 content and enjoying it, loving watching the videos or staying on the page to read the articles to completion, top to bottom, then clicking on another one and another one after that, we'll be happy and the algorithm will just keep on serving us more of them to keep us happy. But if we're clicking on iPhone 13 titles and headlines and getting burned and clicking out and not clicking on as many iPhone 13 titles or headlines from then on, well, the algorithm is gonna find us something else to make us happy and sucks for all the iPhone 13 content for a while, even the good stuff. So if there's a new report out from Wedbush saying, based on their supply chain sources, the iPhone 13 or whatever is gonna come with up to one terabyte of storage this year, and that matches John Prosser of Front Page Tech's previous reporting on one terabyte of storage, and that matches the one terabyte of storage already available on the current iPad Pro, which requires six gigabytes of RAM, and the iPhone 12 Pro already went to six gigabytes of RAM last year, and you can provide analysis on the need for higher storage tiers based on higher resolutions, higher dynamic ranges, all that content, that's fantastic. Give it to me, give it to me now. Just don't call it confirmed. Nothing about the iPhone 13 is confirmed. Please don't call it confirmed based on multiple rumor reports or reblogs, because it's not and don't base it on obvious anonymous Twitter thirst trap accounts claiming to be leakers because they're not. 
or say that the spiral eye emoji coming in iOS 14.5 is because of 120 Hertz promotion in the iPhone 13, because so very not. I mean, it's totally coming, but it's not linked to any emoji at all. And you know what I mean. Now, initially I wasn't gonna put this video up on YouTube because it is more than a little ranty. It's completely ranty. So I was just gonna put it up on Nebula instead because that's where I post all of my videos, 100% ad-free, sponsor-free, often with extra exclusive bonus content, including full-length collabs, and my first original, Impact iPhone. And you can get a Nebula subscription absolutely for free when you subscribe to CuriosityStream because they love, love thoughtful educational content. You not only get access to their catalog of thousands of documentaries and series, including David Rubenstein's show, where he interviews Tim Cook about working with Steve Jobs, the values at Apple, privacy and equality, and if Cook would ever, ever run for president. And for a limited time, CrossyStream is 26% off and a terrific way to support this channel and educational content directly for less than $15 a year and Nebula for free. Just click on the link in the description or go to crossystream.com slash Renee Ritchie and then go watch my original. So yeah. Obviously, I decided to put this video up on both YouTube and Nebula. So let me know what you think. And to find out more about everything that's coming with the iPhone 13, really coming with the iPhone 13, hit the playlist above and I'll see you in the next video.